Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. It's still ahead this morning on Fox 5 Morning News. The First Lady gives the White House a new look. Plus, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're going to show you a new tool that is helping in the fight and put it to the test. And as we know, ladies, early detection is the key to battling breast cancer. And a new exam is making early detection a whole lot easier. Fox 5's Nadine Torin put it to the test and is here now to share with us how the procedure went. Nadine? Good morning, Arthel. It's amazing. This new technology can stop breast cancer before it even begins. And so many people don't even know it's available have an opportunity to prevent breast cancer in women. It's called HALO. It allows us to identify women who are at risk of cancer before they develop cancer. And it could become an angel for many women. The HALO is a way for us to make an assessment of a woman's risk of developing breast cancer. Dr. Bider embraces the new technology that determines a woman's risk for acquiring the disease that haunts one in eight women. Its important function is to identify women who are at risk of developing breast cancer eight years before it would show up on a mammogram or before a woman would fill a lump. Here's how it works. Its risk detection is based on tissue sampling. Despite fearing the unknown, I decided to get the exam. Dr. Bider says I'm the ideal candidate for the HALO exam because mammograms are meant for women 40 and older. And in about five minutes, I'll know if I have a possible risk for breast cancer. For women who are before the age of 40, it grants them an opportunity to have information about their body before timing for mammogram. Five minutes later, after a fairly painless, non-invasive test, each of these suction cups would go on to the breast itself, was my moment of truth. Well, my results are in and no fluid was found, which means I do not have an increased risk of breast cancer. However, it's suggested you get the HALO exam on a yearly basis. If we don't find fluid, that is a negative test. If we do find fluid, then that fluid is sent to a laboratory to examine. This unique exam is changing lives. For the first time, we're able to give women an opportunity to gain control of their health. It's a way to stop cancer before it starts. It allows women to identify, do I have precancerous cells and what is right for me? Allowing women to take control of their lives. The exam is covered under most insurance policies, but usually comes with a $75 to $100 surcharge. And I have to admit, throughout the entire test, I kept reminding myself I was doing this for a story. However, Arthel, I couldn't help but being scared as the test results came in and the doctor was about to reveal my results. And Dr. Bider says, don't let fear hold you back because this test can literally save your life. It can literally save your life. Yeah, definitely very important. Um, Nadine, you know what I noticed? You had your everything off. Now, normally, when you go get a mammogram, right. you have that little, you know, drape thing on, and right. you put your, you know, it's on the very uninvasive. It's but I mean, you had all your clothes off. Why? The, my the top. top was off, and there are two suctions, and they pull at you, and it's a little uncomfortable, but it really doesn't hurt that bad. It lasts for only five minutes, and then it's done. And the best part about this this test is the results. Are immediate. Instant, yeah. They're they're instant, which is great because then and then you know because if you've I don't know if you've had a mammogram, but those nope. of people who have had it, let me just finish. You 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 have to wait if you if they you find a, a reading that's a little bit off. You have to wait. You have to go back and you wait again. Right. So there, if they see something that's a little bit abnormal, they can maybe take You'll it know. again and have you come back You'll to know. see if anything changed. Uh, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And the unique thing about it is mammograms are usually for women 40 and older. Yeah, but so this gives you know people 25 and older a chance to see if they have a risk of breast cancer. Christina Applegate. Yes, you're right. Yeah, she's under 40. Okay, thank you very much.